Okay, um, just real quick, uh, again, I just did a podcast, you know, talking about driving for dollars. I literally, the first door that I knocked, um, I got to speak with the guy. Um, I drove by the actual house that he um, is wanting to sell, um, you know, and I got a response from him. I got his phone number. So it works. Like, you know what I mean? Like he definitely wants to sell. He's not motivated to sell though. So he wants a certain price. Um, and he doesn't want to have to pay like any closing costs or whatever. Um, he, you know, uh, this could be a deal, you know, it might only be like three grand or something, but, um, again, with, with somebody who's like really, uh, you know, straightforward, like he was, and I'm straightforward. Um, you know, you might be able to get a deal out of that, uh, just because it might be a good buy and hold property for somebody. So four bedrooms, two bath, it's not in the, on the best, it's like in a decent neighborhood, but like the street kind of sucks. Um, it's your manufactured home. Uh, like in Phoenix, they're all beige with like tile roofing and shit like that. So, um, and he lives in a neighborhood around the corner from it. That's a much better neighborhood, but he's a like man's man that does all the remodeling and stuff himself. So, uh, this property could, definitely be a deal um for somebody that wants to do like a buy and hold so um you know again if i can pay the closing costs on it you know it looks and sounds like he doesn't have any liens or anything there's no real motivation there but he's like straight up about it okay so again i just send it over to my guy that does the numbers um he's seeing maybe he could potentially do something with it um again i don't want to waste this guy's time um uh if it's something that we can actually do a market um you know, we'll lock it up, but again, I won't, um, I won't, you know, bullshit this guy, you know what I mean, if it's not solid, I don't, I don't definitely want to do that, you get a lot of wholesalers out, um, that really just kind of, like, lock everything up, and then they, if they don't perform, they don't give a fuck, and that's not really good for business, so, um, you do want to lock a lot of stuff up, but, um, you know, you don't want to waste people's time and you can just be honest with them. You know, look, I'm, I need to find some financing that will buy and hold with a partner of mine. Um, and again, you know, you can do stuff like that. So I was pretty honest about that. And he, you know, he liked that. Like he liked the fact that, um, I was being, you know, very direct with him. Um, so we're going to run the numbers and see if it actually works. Okay. All right. Nate Ness education.